A local nine year old is keeping Tybee Island beautiful and making sea life a little bit safer, one piece of trash at a time. What started as an idea to clean up the island has now turned into a nonprofit, making a positive impact throughout the area. I have the inspiring nine year old story. Labor Day weekend, drawing in crowds to Tybee, as well as trash littered throughout the island. I know some weird things are we've picked up a whole entire bracelet of beads that have been falling apart. We've picked up a lot of bottle caps, a ton of cigarette butts, a few straws. Thankfully, nine-year-old Lydia Clever, or Liddy, her mom, and some other volunteers are working hard to clean as much of Tybrisa Street as they can. I adopted Tybrisa Street out here in Tybee because of my nonprofit, and I wanted to get all of the trash up. One day, after noticing how much trash was left at the beach whenever she would visit, Liddy started cleaning herself, even wanting to donate a cleanup station with trash buckets and grabbers to her school. The principal said I couldn't do it because they only accepted donations from nonprofits. So, the nonprofit Save Sea Life with Liddy was born, organizing cleanups on Tybee Island every month, if not more. She's like, wait. If we can teach other kids to care, then like we won't have a beach to clean up because they'll know not to put trash on it. Now, three years later, the nonprofit has grown beyond just organizing cleanups. And with the pretty trash, Lydia actually keeps it and she makes trash art out of it. So she'll make whale tails, um, sea turtles, like giant canvases. Liddy sells this art, saving up to help a local sea turtle at the Tybee Island Marine Science Center. She's raising money for Westie's Tracker, so I think we're about $300 away. She's already raised $900. That's not all for the nine-year-old. She's published two books, teaching about humans' impact on our oceans and about endangered sea creatures. When asked how long Liddy plans to keep organizing these cleanups. I don't think I'll ever stop doing this because it makes me like really, really happy to know that I'm giving back to the community. In her message to any kids out there watching, no act is too small, and you're never too young to make a difference. Reporting on Tybee Island, Bronte Sarotsky, WTOC News.